Hey sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, with another video. And in today's video, you'll notice I am not wearing a jersey. And in all my other videos, um, except for my intro video, I, I've been wearing a jersey. And the reason that I am not wearing a jersey in this video is because this video is going to be showing off my baseball jersey collection. It's baseball season, so I am going to limit the video to my baseball jerseys, of which I have quite a few. Now, I'm a White Sox fan, so there's going to be a lot of White Sox video or a lot of uh, White Sox um, jerseys in this video. And um, I'll do a little commentary, I mean, but basically I mean, they're baseball jerseys. Usually I get them on eBay because you can get the you can get higher quality, good baseball jerseys for uh, less expensive uh, prices than you can um, going retail. Although I'm sure some of these in the past I've, I've probably bought off of like, um, like MLB.com or, or something, one of those type websites and paid full retail um, for them but um, that's not the case with everyone so let's get started on my collection and the first one that I want to show off is my 1970 I think this is 1972 probably White Sox jersey um, it's a nice jersey it's got a like kind of a sheen to it so I'm not sure you know, I'm, I'm not sure how official these are. This doesn't have, there's no name or number on the back of this one, but um, but it's a nice jersey. I like it. The next one we've got is the 1983 White Sox jersey, and this is way too big for me. I swim in this, and I'm, I'm a big guy as it is. So if I can swim in this, this is a really big jersey. It's like a 50-something Um Let's see if it's got the size on here. It just says 2X, but this is this is way more than, I mean, I don't know what kind of 2X this is because my t-shirts and my regular shirts that I wear are 2X, and this is still big. But this is a nice jersey, though. Uh, it's nice material. Kind of the, the letters are in felt, it feels like. So again, I mean, there probably are better jerseys that are more official out there, but this is... Uh, this is still a nice one. Uh, it's got the 75 year patch on it. Now this one is a really nice one. This is a minor league triple cities uh, triplets, I think, uh, jersey. And this was, it's a Whitey Ford. I got, I know I for definitely sure I got this one on, uh, on eBay. And I recall paying a pretty good price for it. See, it's got the minor minor league baseball patch on it, but it's a really it's a really uh, high quality, very uh, thick, good uh, baseball material that that one's made out of. Uh, the next one we've got is a uh, it's a White Sox jersey. I mean, it's not an official White Sox jersey. It's just one that has a like a White Sox patch on it. I'm pretty sure I got this one off eBay. Just saw it, liked it, thought it looked nice. So that's uh, that's that. This is a 1919 White Sox jersey. I think I probably got this off of eBay. Again, best place to get jerseys. If you want to get a jersey at a lower cost, um, but but still nice quality. Um, I suggest going to eBay for them. This is a uh, Washington Nationals jersey, and I don't know if you can see it, but I got a stain here. Maybe coffee. No one meets probably coffee. Um, but this is, um, I think I, we got this at uh, at Costco. I think they had these at Costco. So, like, these are this is a stylized jersey. It's not an official, obviously, Washington Nationals jersey. But it's still nice. 
Again, thick material, no name or anything on the back. Uh, this one, I I also got this one off of uh, off eBay. And I like this one. This is like, uh, I don't even think it's really the St. Patrick's, not even the St. Patrick's Day one. It's just a kind of a stylized green, uh, like a um, olive green jersey with uh, the White Sox patch on it. And again, no name, number, or anything like that on it. Now this one, this is a, I think a Redding Phillies, Redding Phillies jersey, number 27, number 27 on the back. It says Philadelphia Phillies, it's got a Philadelphia patch, but I'm, I'm not sure though. I think this was, uh, I'm pretty sure I got this off eBay and they said it was a, it, it was a Redding Phillies jersey. I mean, it could be used, I suppose, as like an old throwback Philadelphia jersey. I, nobody might even know the difference, but. Now this one is another, and you know what? I got an, a stain on this one too. I don't know, it looks like maybe a coffee stain. Who knew? But anyway, uh, this one's a White Sox jersey. Again, not an official one, doesn't have a name or number on the back, but it is a, uh, it is a White Sox uh, jersey. The, the material's a little thinner than the other ones, and it doesn't have the button down like all of the jerseys nowadays do. This is like an old throwback uh, v-neck um, non-button down jersey. Now this one was apparently a game-worn jersey that I got off eBay uh, of Kip Wells when he uh, played for the White Sox. This jersey is supposedly, I mean, if it's game worn, it's official. It's an official jersey, at least for the time. Uh, nice material. Uh, don't know if I've got any stains on this one. Hopefully not. But there you go, Kip Wells. Now this one, this one I know I bought through, um, and I bought this retail. Because this has got my number, I like the number 66 because that was the year I was born. Chicago White Sox visiting Jersey. And on the back you got the name and number 66, my name, Bob Zolke or Zolke. And uh, so, yeah, this one I definitely bought retail. Um, and it was probably, I mean, this was many years ago. So it was probably around $160, $170, something like that. This one is another one that, again, has a stain on it, um, but it's a White Sox. I think this is the same deal as the, uh, as the other Washington Nationals one. I think we got this at Costco. Um, so, yeah, this is... Maybe there's coffee in my closet. I don't know, because there's coffee stains on this one, too. Now, this one is a, uh, a Puig jersey, and I got this off of eBay. Um, number 66, because, again, I like the number 66. And this is, um, again, it wasn't very expensive, and I do like to collect jerseys, so... Here's another White Sox jersey, and this one is like a uh, bicentennial type one. I mean, again, not official, not one that they ever wore for anything. It's just, uh, it's just like uh, uh, this one. <clears throat> I, I'm not sure if I got this one off eBay or whether I got it um, through one of the like uh, one of the um, one of the baseball shop um, sites, because again, I've had this one for years too. Now here we got a, uh, it's like a Seattle Mariners batting practice jersey. Uh, no number on the back. Got the Mariners patch on the sleeve and Mariners there. Um, and it's got the, it's like a mesh material. It's not heavy. It's not like the regular baseball batting jerseys. Or the, not the regular baseball jerseys. I think it's like a, it's like a, a batting jersey. Um, 
again, pretty nice. Uh, and I probably didn't pay a lot of money for that one uh, because it, it was, I think this one was off eBay too. Uh, this one is a Yankees jersey, New York Yankees, with the, uh, it's got a patch on the sleeve, uh, all-star game, number 13, so this is like, uh, Alex Rodriguez, uh, New York Yankees jersey, nice jersey, nice, uh, hard, tough material. Now here we got a uh, a Marlins jersey, and this was I wore this in a recent video when I was uh, talking about the baseball rules. You might have seen that one. Um, if you haven't, I suggest you go back check it out. But no name or number on the back, just uh, Marlins, and it's like a Marlins throwback from a few, quite a few years ago. Uh, now here we got a uh, this is a USA jersey, USA. Um, like that, uh, when they have the, um, every four years when they have that in baseball during the preseason, the world baseball classic, this is the USA Jersey, uh, got the American flag on one sleeve and the, uh, the world baseball classic patch on the other. And this one also, I bought this one through one of the websites because this has got my name and again the number 66 on it and we got the uh, San Francisco Giants jersey which I have also featured in one of my videos where I talk about the uh, about my Stratomatic baseball and hockey card collection and my favorite ones there and again I suggest you go back check that one out now this one I think I got this one off eBay too there's no name or number on the back not personalized but again nice jersey and I like it and that is it apparently I mean I don't know maybe I, there's ones I'm missing that I haven't been able to find but this is what I was able to dig up so there you got it. There's my uh, baseball jersey collection, and I will be doing the limited, far more limited football jersey um, collection and hockey jersey collection when those seasons get underway. So hope you enjoyed that. If you have any comments about it, um, you know, drop me a line, give me a like. Uh, hit the bell so that you're notified when you get um, when I put up new videos and uh, and also please subscribe to the uh, channel and you uh, will get a lot of more a lot more quality videos like this and things that you might request anything you want to see I'm here to do that and uh, so for right now that's uh, that's it sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off